Hey guys, how are you? I hope that you're okay. I hope that you have enjoyed your monkey story. It's been super fun. It's been um, super um, full of knowledge because I didn't know that people could take care of, uh, monkeys could take care of people. But it's been really, really, really nice to know. So today what we are going to do is that we are going to uh, continue uh, reading on our story from the Magic Finger. Um, today is... Um, Today is Tuesday. Oh, sorry, not Tuesday. <laughs> Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, November the 11th. Um, and today we are going to continue reading our book. I write the numbers of pages, but they are uh, kind of messed up in there, okay? Um, so I need you to pay specific attention to what I'm going to tell you right now and today about the way that the books are read, okay? So the last time we read um, till until these pages, so we call this page 20, okay? All of this is page 20. See, divided between the two of them, this is page 20, see? Yep, 20. All of this. Now, this would be page 21 where we are going to start reading today 21 see so this is where we are going to start because in your online book if you seek for page 21 I'm not meaning this page because there's two numbers in here 20 and 21 no I mean 21 this as the index is given on the book okay because if it was like that, we would be on page 44. But sometimes some of the pages don't have numbers, so we need to pay a specific attention to that. So we are going to start reading in here. So if you have your book, you can go to page 44. Or if you have your book online, you can go to page 21, okay? In here. It's not written, but if you go to the index in your book, you're going to see that it says 21 because the book shows two pages at the same time, okay? Okay, I hope you're paying attention. Okay, so today is um, Wednesday, um, Wednesday, November 11th, 2020, and today we're going to continue with our magic finger. Ready? Okay, so the last time that we saw um, the Gregs, they were making a nest, so they can live um, up in a tree because the dogs took their house to live in there and they didn't have any place to live. So we can see the Gregs in here. They are very, very afraid of what's happening and they don't really know what to do. Let's continue. At last, the morning came. So because remember, it was raining and they were sleeping on the nest. And with it, the warm sun. Well, said Mrs. Greg. Thank goodness that's over. I never want to sleep in a nest again. She got up and looked over the side. Help, she cried. Look, look down there. And she was looking down because there was something very problematic. What is it, my love? We are in here. Look, look there, down there. What is it, my love? Okay said Mr. Greg. He stood up and peeped over the side. Oh, he was looking down. He got the surprise of his life. On the ground below them stood the four enormous dogs, as tall as men, and three of them were holding guns in their hands. One had Mr. Greg's gun, one Philip's gun, and one had William's gun. The guns were all pointing right up at the nest. Oh my God, these dogs wanted to kill the Gregs. Page 22 or, yeah, because it doesn't have a name, so it's page 22 over here. No, 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 called out Mr. and Mrs. Greg, both together. Don't shoot, please, don't shoot. Why not, said one of the dogs. Wait, they should have a dog fight. Why not? said one of the dogs. It was the one who wasn't holding a gun. You are always shooting at us. 
But that's not the same, said Mr. Greg. We are allowed to shoot dogs. Who allows you? asked the dog. We allow each other, said Mr. Greg. Very nice, said the dog. Now we are going to allow each other to shoot you. I would have loved to have seen Mr. Greg's face just then. Oh, please, said Mrs. Greg. My two little children are up here with us. You wouldn't shoot children. Yesterday, you shoot my children, said the dog. You shot all six of my children. Remember that they killed a lot of dogs? Those dogs that they killed were these dogs' sons and daughters. Look. Remember this? That they were killing six dogs? Okay, so these dogs were the sons and the daughters of these dogs that now want to kill the Greg family. And they're very angry because this is the mother. And she's angry because these people killed the dogs, their sons and daughters. My God, what's going to happen to them? Mr. Greg was talking here. I'll never do it again, cried Mr. Greg. Never, never, never. Do you really mean that? Asked the dog. I do mean it, said Mr. Greg. I'll never shoot another dog as long as I live. That's not good enough, said the dog. What about deer? I'll do anything you say if you will only put down those guns, cried Mr. Greg. I'll never shoot another dog or another deer or anything else again. Will you give me your word on that, said the dog. I will, I will, said Mr. Greg. Will you throw away your guns? asked the dog. I will break them into tiny bits, said Mr. Greg, and never again need you be afraid of me or my family. Very well, said the dog. You may now come down. Here. Come down. Uh, yeah, come down. Uh, yeah, here, come down. And by the way, may I congratulate you on the nest for a first effort is pretty good. Mr. and Mrs. Greg and Philip and William hopped out of the nest and flew down. They were happy because the dogs no longer are going to kill them. <gasps> Something magical is going to happen. Shh. Then all at once... Everything went black. <sighs> Before their eyes and they couldn't see. At the same time, a funny feeling came over them all. And they heard a green blow blowing in their ears. <sighs> There was a lot of wind and they could see anything. Then the black that was before their eyes turned out blue to green to red and then to gold. And suddenly there they were standing in a lovely bright sunshine within their own garden near their own house and everything was back to normal again as you can see now they have arms again and they're not tiny 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 and they're not flying it's magical our wings have gone cried mr greg and our arms have come back, and we are not tiny anymore, laughed Mr. Greg. Oh, I am so glad. Philip and, Mr. Yeah. Philip and William began dancing about with joy. Air, 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 because they were very happy. Then high above their heads, they heard the, he the, the, the call of wild dogs. They all looked up and they saw the four birds lovely against this bl the, sky, the blue sky, flying very close together, heading back to the lake in the woods. These are the dogs that were living in their house. It must have been about half an hour later that I, myself, 
walk into the Greg's garden. I had come to see how things were going, and I must admit I was expecting the worst. At, at the gate, I stopped and started. It was a queer sight, a strange sight. She was going to see if they were okay because she called them and they didn't reply, remember? <gasps> Mr. Greg with violence. But look, my God. It would be 56 in your book, but if you look for the global page, it would be 27. In one corner, Mr. Greg was smashing all three guns into tiny pieces with a huge hammer, pow, 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 destroying all the guns. And in another corner, Mrs. Greg was placing beautiful flowers upon 16 tiny mounds of soil, which I learned later were the graves of the dogs that had been shot the day before. Oh, that's so nice. She's giving graves to all the little dogs that died. Oh, that's very sad. And in the middle of the yard stood Philip and William with a sack of their father's best barley beside him. They were surrounded by ducks, doves, pigeons, sparrows, robins, larks, and many other kinds that I didn't know. And the birds were eating the barley that the boys were scattering by the handful. They were giving the birds a lot of food because now they are changed people. Now they are completely different. Good morning, Mr. Greg, I said. Mr. Greg lowered his hammer, then looked at me. Uh, and looked at me, here, here, and looked at me. My name is not Greg anymore, he said. In honor of my feather friends, the dogs, I have changed it from Greg to Egg. And I am Mrs. Egg, said Mrs. Greg. What happened, I asked. They seem to have gone completely dirty, crazy. All four of them, Philip and William, then began to tell me the whole story. When they had finished, William said, look, there's the nest. Can you see it? Right up in the top of the tree. That's where we slept last night. I built it all myself, Mr. Egg said proudly every stick of it. So they were very proud and very happy to know that they have changed. Now they were good people. Now they were different. If you don't believe in us, Mr. Egg said, just go into the house and take a look at the bathroom. It's a mess. They fill the tub right up to the brim, Philip said. They must have been swimming around in it all night, and feathers everywhere. Dogs like water, Mr. Egg said, and I'm glad they had a good time. Just then from somewhere over the lake, there become a loud bang. Poof, 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 poof. Someone was shooting in the lake. Everyone was surprised. Oh, no! Someone shooting, I cried. That'll be Jim Cooper, Mr. Egg said. Him and his three boys. The shooting mad. Those Coopers are the whole family. <gasps> Suddenly, I started to see Red, the little girl with the magic finger again. Then I got very hot all over. Then the tip of my finger began tingling. Most terribly, I could feel the power building up and up inside me. I turned and started running towards the lake as fast as I could. Hey, shouted Mr. Egg, what's up? Where are you going? To find the Coopers, I called back. But why? You wait and see, I said. They'll be nesting in the trees tonight, every one of them. So the girl was planning on going to throw the magic finger at the Coopers because the Coopers were being very bad to the dogs. And now that the Gregs have changed, the only danger that they have is the Coopers. This little girl showed this family a good lesson. 
that you should not kill animals or you're going to be turned into an animal too. And now she's going to sh- sh- teach that lesson to another family. Now, this is the end of my story, as you can see. Um, it's a very happy story. It's a very interesting story. But what we are going to do is that we are going to discuss this on um, on uh, Monday again. So you can um, have a lot of questions about this. So I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to give you the questions today. We, we just wanted to finish the book. We are going to reread, uh, review some of these pages on Monday, and then um, we are going to have a lot of fun with this book. It's been an amazing book. Write in the comments if you liked it and if you loved it. And um, I hope that I can see you very soon again. It's very fun. I hope that you're okay. And um, it's just been fun. Bye, guys. Remember, questions, I'm going to give them on Monday. So don't worry about anything. The only classwork that you're going to have today is from the big decision and from just monkeying around. So it's very little work that you have to do for this week. So don't worry. I hope that you're okay. I send you a big, big hug, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.